Intel's 14th gen processors are the pinnacle of processors that can do everything that enthusiasts and professionals need and want. In this video about the Intel Core i9 processor 14900K is sponsored by Intel with some of the parts in this PC build being provided by Intel. And one of the advantages you have of choosing 14th gen processors over the 13th gen is that you get higher core frequencies on both the P cores and E cores right out of the box, but you can actually push it even further with a single click of the button using AI Assist in Intel's XTU, which we'll showcase later on in this video. Increasing that clock speed on the Intel Core i9 processor 14900K means that you're getting more in the same time frame, more FPS, faster professional applications, but that there's more than just frequency changes that enable you to get more out of the 14th gen. You still get support for DDR5 or DDR4 and compatibility with Intel 600 and Intel 700 chipset based motherboards, as well as Intel's thread director, making sure that the operating system is effectively managing all of the resources that are in those CPUs. But you also get Intel Intel Wi-Fi 7, which gives you support for up to five gigabits per second wireless connection. Meaning for the first time ever that the Wi-Fi connection on this PC is actually faster than my hardwired connection here in my house. But you also get Bluetooth 5.4 support, and of course, Thunderbolt 4 support, which gives you access to incredible data transfer speeds of 40 gigabits per second on one cable. This allows you to use the robust community of Thunderbolt 4 docks and stations for having all of your peripherals and your monitors connected to one single dock that plugs into one single cable. It's a very simple, seamless solution to make sure that you're getting the most out of the connectivity on this platform. But Intel did send me the Intel Core i9 processor 14900K, and we're gonna be putting it through its paces to showcase just how performant it actually is. But before we do that, I wanna also go over the rest of the parts that are in this system that help to actually bring the potential of this processor to its fullest. We have the ASRock Phantom Gaming Z790 Wi-Fi motherboard, which has that Wi-Fi 7 support. It has PCI Express Gen 5 SSD support and forward-looking PCI Express Gen 5 by 16 slot for future graphical upgrades. And it also has five further Hyper M.2 ports, which allow for enthusiasts and professionals to have the capacity and support that they need to store your games and your projects all on a single motherboard. And it means that I get full use out of this PCI Express Gen 5 2 terabyte SSD that I put in this motherboard. And this ASRock motherboard perfectly pairs up with the Kingston Fury Renegade DDR5 8000 RAM chosen for this. 8,000 mega transfers per second allows us to utilize Intel's Extreme Memory Profile or XMP Tech at a very high level. This is literally the fastest RAM I've ever gotten my hands on. When I started this YouTube channel, my memory was only around 1,000 mega transfers per second. We are at eight times that amount right now. And then we have the Enermax LickMax 3 360 millimeter liquid cooler, and that's keeping the Intel Core i9 processor 14900K running at its fastest. Thanks to its patented dual chamber design that has a central coolant inlet structure and shunt channel technology on the cold plate that works to prevent heat surges by injecting coolant at the hot spot and shortening the coolant flow path, which makes heat transfer happen more quickly. And the patented dual chamber design also isolates the pump from the heat being produced to help prolong the cooler's lifetime. And it also has this gorgeous ARGB lighting that helps to really tie the system together visually. I built the theme of the computer off the color scheme of the ASRock motherboard and the ARGB on the Intermax cooler, which allows me to get a cohesive aesthetic here. And then in the rest of the system, we have that two terabyte Gen 5 SSD, as I mentioned, we do have an Aorus RTX 4090 in here, and it's all in the APNX C1 Chroma Flare case to help visually tie and match the entire system. I love the color changing dual tone aesthetic that we've got going on. But now that you know the rest of the system's parts, I wanna get off a few gaming tests and performance benchmarks. I'm gonna start off by highlighting Intel's XTU with AI Assist to show you how much of an overclock that you can get on the Intel Core i9 processor 14900K and how easy it is for you to do it yourself. It is as simple as going to Intel's website, downloading the XDU tool, and then with the AI Assist functionality, it examines all of the details that are in your specific processor. And just from clicking one button and waiting less than a minute, we have two of my cores that got upgraded to a 61 times multiplier with many of them being at a 59 
29 times multiplier on the P cores. And then on the E cores, they all got bumped up to a 45 times multiplier, which means that this CPU is now running faster than it did out of the box, thanks to Intel's software analyzing how can the CPU utilize its best potential and also make sure to stay within the thermal headroom provided by the cooler. So we have a whole bunch of games that I tested this entire system in. Assassin's Creed Mirage, Baldur's Gate 3, Counter-Strike 2, Hitman 3, and Returnal. And there is some incredible performance that's brought out by the Intel Core i9 processor 14900K. I tested all of the games at 4K high settings and the CPU really worked to provide us with tons of high frame rates. You could potentially drop the resolution down to 1080p to make the CPU work harder, which you're then gonna see just how far and how high you can fly, but especially with a graphics card like the one that we have in this system, it made more sense to run things at 4K just for how this PC should be put through its paces. But as you can see in Baldur's Gate 3, we averaged over 260 FPS, thanks to the fact that this CPU was AI tuned using Intel's XTU tool. In Counter-Strike 2, we averaged over 340 FPS. In Hitman 3, we were over 217. In Returnal, we managed 139. And in the brand new Assassin's Creed Mirage, we got 130.5 FPS average. The speed, performance, and capability of the Intel Core i9 processor 14900K means that I don't have to worry whether or not I'm getting the most out of my system with the highest end graphics card that's currently out on the market because I know that my CPU is running at its highest potential with a simple one-click overclock. Some of my cores are running at 6.1 gigahertz. There's actually a video on this channel where I had to go to one of the world's best liquid nitrogen overclockers in the entire world in South Africa, and he showed me how to use LN2 on an Intel Core i7 7700K processor, and that was 6.5 gigahertz that I managed to achieve. I had to do so much more to get to roughly the same clock speed that I get with a single one minute wait after a button push in Intel's XTU tool. It is honestly incredible just how far Intel has come with both the clock speeds as well as all of the other technologies that Intel's managed to put into their latest flagship processor. So this thing is great at games, but it's also insanely good at professional applications. So I have a standard render that I try in all of the testing that I do. It's an 11 minute Premiere Pro file for a video that we released on the channel. And I managed to hit my fastest render time ever using this Intel Core i9 processor 14900K. This 11 minute video at 4K rendered out in just a matter of two minutes and 51 seconds, over three times faster than real time. Meaning that I am saving time, not having to wait around for my work to get done here at the office, but I can also play a lot of games at very high frame rates as well. And that's all thanks to the benefits of Intel's performance hybrid architecture. You've got the P cores and E cores working together via Intel's thread director to make sure that resources are getting allocated effectively and efficiently so that even when you are doing things like rendering out in Premiere Pro, you can continue to web browse or you can keep Slack and Zoom up while gaming to make sure that you're not missing any important messages as they come in. Getting a quick round of Baldur's Gate 3 in while you happen to be in a Zoom call, but you're paying enough attention and you're still getting things done and enjoying things with the Intel Core i9 processor 14900K. You've got faster cores for amazing gaming, multitasking, and streaming. You've got unmatched overclocking experience with the Intel AI Assistant, and then the large number of cores, the threads and cache, allows the Intel Core i9 processor 14900K to be for both work and play. And the best in class connectivity is also here with Intel's Wi Fi 7, Bluetooth 5.4, and Thunderbolt 4. And then there's also a great ecosystem to support the Intel Core desktop processors 14th gen in maximizing their performance with advanced thermal solutions and enhanced memory performance. And you can check out the Intel Core desktop processors 14th gen at the link in the video description. Big thanks to Intel for providing the Intel Core i9 processor 14900K as well as many of the other components in this system. We'll see you back here for the next video, my friends.